Hi guys, I'm Travis. And I'm Steven. And you know us from the House of Mimosa as uh, Nita and Gina Marie. <laughs> yeah, um, it's so really, strange to sit in front of this. This like is this. so <laughs> nerve-wracking. No, it's fine. Well, we did the best friend tag as Anita and Gina Marie. And we figured maybe we should do it as ourselves. Right. So you guys can get a little more insight into Travis and, and Steven. Um, you can see the Anita and Gina Marie best friend tag on... Anita's YouTube, which Buffum is Buffum Beautiful. Beautiful. B U F F E N. Well, I'll put it. <laughs> right is that down, how you right, right, right down below. Right down below. Right there. There. Okay. So, okay. Okay. All right. So, you, let's start uh, with okay. the first question. First question. Okay. Right. Who is your best friend's hero? Oh. Oh, God. My best friend's hero. I, I would have to say Jerry Hollowell. <laughs> <laughs> So Do you think it? No. no. So why is that embarrassing? Wait, why? Is okay, that, so. Well, you you answer for me, and would it be? Mine's probably worse. <laughs> okay, so, right, so this is really right, fun. So mine is Ginger Spice, Jerry Hello. Yeah, from the Spice Girls. Well, now I would say a little more Lady Gaga. So yeah, me, does that make me cooler anymore? Any more than no, that? No, I can see that. I well, trying I to like, go back to like. When we when I first really met you and well, you, you know, yeah, I like anything that's like uh, be yourself and yeah, and walk around on a stage with your coochie hanging out. I guess. <laughs> okay, so my best friend's hero is Liza Minnelli. Yes, <laughs> or Judy Garland. Or Judy. Yeah, Judy yeah. Garland. One of the two. If you could go any place on earth, where would it be and why? So. So I'm answering. You're here. answering for me. If I can go anywhere, where would it be and why? I would say you would go to Italy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> to where your family is from. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wait. Okay. So where would you go and why? A part of me wants to say. Because you've been to a few places, I think that you might want to go to Australia. That's yeah. a good one. I, I, yeah. I was struggling with where I'd want to go, too. I know, but, yeah. but I thought I remember us being like, oh, God, we would love to work in Australia. Well, see, everywhere I want to go is based off of work. Yes. Like, places that I think people would like our show. Yeah. So, uh, we always get told that we remind people of Kath and Kim mm -hmm. from Australia. If you don't know the show Kath and Kim, Oh, check look it, it up, out. please. Oh, this is a good one, but I don't know how to answer it. Okay. What are two things your best friend does not know about you? Oh, jeez. What are two things your best friend doesn't know about you? I mean, God, we know like almost everything about each other. I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. I know. I think it, I know everything. I know. I would say. I mean, I wouldn't know other like. I don't know. I don't know what I wouldn't know. <laughs> you pretty much know everything. I know. That's why I'm like. We're so like open books to each other, so that's so why it's... I'll make it a mush moment and say uh, that I don't think you know how much I believe in you. Oh. That's, so uh, <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah. I could see that. Yeah. But everything else I think we know. Yeah. Okay. I think we know. <laughs> right. Okay, next question. <laughs> what is your best friend's dream job? I mean, this is our dream job, doing what we do. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. But I guess just, you know, on a limb, I would say that your dream job would be to be a pop singer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. And I would say that your dream job is to be a Broadway star. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's easy. And thank you to our audience for letting that... We kind of get we to do that We kind of get now. to do that now. So, yeah. I mean, it's... You know, I mean, we, we are use, living our dream job. We can use the word star loosely. Yeah. <laughs> if you were out together... What would your best friend eat? Oh, God. You love a good burger. You love a... <laughs> no, you okay. do. I think that you do. Yeah, yeah. No? I mean, I, I don't know what else you really... I mean, we like so many different kinds of food. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> no, we like... I like... Yeah. Mexican. Yes, okay. And I love when we'll... In yes. the spring or summer. Yes, chips and salsa. And <laughs> I love, yes, yes. I All love right. a chip and salsa. All right, yeah. I love a chip and salsa. But you love a really great burger. Like, I remember going back to days well, if I, like Chelsea if, Grill. and That's true. Chelsea Grill has the best turkey burger. Yeah, I remember. But if I were to choose a burger over chips and <laughs> salsa just, and guacamole, would, yeah, would chips and salsa and guacamole true. and yes. margarita. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. In the sun, sitting outside somewhere. <laughs> 
<laughs> what do you think is mine? I. Oh gosh. Ham. Yeah. <laughs> ham. Well, my favorite food is spiral ham. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess that's your favorite food. What would you order? What would I order? I somewhere? guess you can't order a whole spiral yeah. ham. <laughs> Uh, you um, would order... Favorite food. Well, you... Like, I style think, or... Well, Italian. I think you... Yeah. I, I like Italian. You food. like to get, like, Parmesan. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love a good Italian restaurant. Yeah. But Chinese, though, too. Oh, I yeah. Love, I, but that's basically, hard to go... Basically, there's <laughs> not anything we don't want to eat. <laughs> basically, we want to eat everything. Everything. <laughs> everything. I love that. What do you admire most about your best friend? Oh, I like that one. Um... How, um, how, um, I admire your strong will, and you're always very determined, and, and your business sense. So it's not just one thing, it's like a whole <laughs> Thank you. Of, of things. Thank you. <laughs> I admire about you, you are so kind, and you, I think, make everyone always feel welcome and warm, and... That's something I admire. But another thing I really admire is about how you are quickly able to let go of things that might bother other people. Upset. Like things might, things, for instance, if something mm -hmm. would be bad, said bad about our show, mm -hmm. that's hard for me. Yeah. And you're able to be like, meh. Yeah. Wash it off and brush it off. Shake yeah. it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. So I really admire how you are able to let things go. All right, I like that. And on top of that, still treat people that are not nice with, with kindness. kindness. <laughs> well, whatever. Yeah. They're having a bad moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me. They're having the bad moment. What favorite memory do you two share? Oh, my gosh. I mean, I just think about the days where we used to hang out and, like, go out and about in, like, Queens, uh -huh. and uh, there was, like, some random bar that you got to DJ one night at, uh -huh. and I just always loved when you would play the song, the Beyonce, no, the Destiny's Child uh -huh. had come out with, oh, God, uh, uh, lose, my lose My Breath, Lose My Breath, lose my breath. and my breath. I'll never forget, like, what, the way that we would come out on the dance floor and, like, shake it to that song that, I don't know, always reminds me of that great, like, summer that we had. Well, I think some of my favorite memories are, like, when we started the show. Yeah. And rehearsing and all the fun we had. Mm -hmm. And doing the show for the first time for people. And, like, laughing so much. Oh, yeah. Just la I know what my, what my favorite memory is. Oh. I know what my favorite I know, memory is. I know what you're going to say. When we did one of our first videos, and, you know, we allude to <laughs> Gina Marie's characters as possibly maybe being roughed up a little bit by her husband. Yeah. Or they're <laughs> and, just Italian. And we were doing this video... <laughs> Where we were talking about how Jeannie was away on business, or Jeannie was out of town for something, I can't yeah, remember, because yeah, yeah. she wouldn't go out of town on business, but you were away or something, and, yeah. and, and you know, our show is all improv. So I was saying that Frankie kept calling Anita up, uh huh, and Anita came over one night to make sure Frankie was okay, <laughs> and in between takes of our video, I snuck away, yeah. and I put some makeup on my neck and put a scarf around my, around my neck. And came back and I said, uh, Frank, I went to make sure Frankie was okay because he was calling me all the time and crying for me to come over. And I said, and we got into a little bit of an altercation yeah, and, and I had to open my scarf and I made a it look huge like a bruise. bruise on the neck. A huge bruise on his neck. <laughs> and you and I died. 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 That died. was over the couch, heaving. Oh, that was so funny. That was really, that was one so of the funniest funny. moments ever. Yeah. And uh, I, I think it. it's still on YouTube, actually. It is. In the bloopers, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I love us. Oh. <laughs> Between the two of you, who takes longer to get ready? Well. It depends. Well, I, as far as when we have to be in drag, I think you take longer than me. But I think that getting ready for regular stuff, I would say I take longer than you, maybe. No? I think we both. I guess ready equal. Quickly. No, equal. Yeah. But I, f yeah, I feel like. If this was a few years ago, yeah. it would be me. Still. Yeah. But I kinda now don't give a fuck. <laughs> Obviously my sweat my sweatshirt. Um <laughs> No, I yeah, it used to take you a while to get rid of I think with the you're hair. more you used to yeah. use the hot you know, iron. The hot iron. Oh yeah, hair. that took a long time. And you you <laughs> and you are very particular oh, oh, about God. like how things the look the process. Yeah. Like look at us now. You had to shower before we did this. Yeah, no, I did. So. I, had to. 
I was like, well, people are going to see me. Yeah. Uh-huh. You look exactly as you did as you went to the cell. No. Basically. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> was your best friend named after someone, and if so, who? <laughs> I don't. Wait, I'll start because I don't know if you were named. Wait, hold on. Travis. Wait, I feel like it was named after somebody in your family. No? I feel like I remember my mom telling me at some point that it was after a soap opera star. But Oh, okay. But she James. Says no. Travis, James comes from somewhere in your family, no? James comes from the man who inseminated my mother. <laughs> <laughs> No, James is my dad's name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, Stephen. Yeah. Uh, your name comes from, and we don't know if everybody knows this. I don't know. No, I think my mom has told this to people. Maybe. Yeah. So, Stephen's name comes from a boy that his mother dated. Well, not even barely I think she, dated. That she kind of really liked in high school. Yeah, <laughs> we're not sure if his father knows this. Yeah. No, he knows it now. <laughs> we'll know he it knows, now. He knows it now. Uh -huh. But my name was supposed to be Marco, M A R C O, and that's I can't see myself being a Marco. No. no. So can you imagine? So my mom was like, "No, I always, you know, she always liked the name Stephen because of this guy, and her mind was like angelic, I guess, and so." She liked the name Stephen. He was hot. Yeah. He looked like, a, she says he looked like um, Paul Newman. Oh. Like a young Paul uh, Newman. Mm -hmm. Not that I look like a young Paul Newman. But I love his salsa. Yeah. <laughs> With that too. pineapple, pineapple salsa. salsa. Speaking of chips and salsa. <laughs> we should break it out. No. Oh, God. Okay. What was your best friend's favorite show as a child? Oh, gosh. Well, I know. <laughs> Great. Okay. I'm going to say that your favorite show was Rainbow Bright. As a kid, yeah. Yes. As a child. Weird. <laughs> well, you know, the thing was, I remember that I, we never could get it. It, like, yeah. wasn't on TV or something. I don't know if it... I, I don't even know how even Rainbow Bright... Came about. I, I don't know if it, it was wasn't part of, like, Saturday or... morning cartoon? No. Oh. So, I, I, I don't, I don't even know how I knew about it, but I knew that I wanted to see it, but couldn't watch it because it wasn't on TV ever. Oh, how weird. So, and then I know that there was the movie. Uh-huh. And, and then you watched the movie, yeah. Uh, Steven's favorite show as a child. This one's going to be hard because I have this so many. This is hard. This is hard because I don't feel like this is a discussion we've really ever had. Like, maybe you've mentioned this. Yeah, time, I don't know but, if we have a really... Uh, I mean, if we're talking cartoons or are we talking, like, what I used to like to watch when I was young. I don't, well, I mean, if we're talking cartoons, He-Man was huge, oh, and right. I always had the figurines. But um, I actually watched, I can't believe saying this, like, when I was, like, four, three or four years old, we used to watch the Golden Girls, which is so <laughs> weird to me that we loved the Golden Girls, and I love, as a three or four-year-old, loving the Golden Girls. That's kind of weird. Though. That's weird. That's weird. <laughs> I don't know why I would love them at that age. I mean, now I know why. Hello. <laughs> but. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is your best friend a spendthrift, or do they like to save their money? Oh. So I guess spendthrift would... I've never heard that term before. Yeah, yeah. Well, you like I guess you, are you a spender, or are you thrifty? I think you are thrifty. Well, I think you're thrifty, but you, you, you're thrifty. You're uh, yeah, thrifty. I'm thrifty, I would You're say. thrifty in the way that, like, old ladies were thrifty during the Depression. <laughs> 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 but you're not afraid to throw out food that is not bad. <laughs> If it's been opened and around for more than 12 hours in the refrigerator, even, you're like, does this smell funny? Does this smell funny? <laughs> does this smell funny? Does this look bad to you? <laughs> Always. Always. All right. Um, you're a spender, I think. So you like, you know, you you enjoy, you know, having... I like a product. Things, yes. I like yeah. I like things. And I'm not a really a product person. I mean, I, I try... I like to... cute things, but I don't, I'm not a big product person. Like, I like to get things that, like, I feel like are useful. Yes. I just like to try things. So. Yeah, that's all. So I'm not afraid to not get the usual thing. And i like, let me try this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's good. I like that one. Okay. What's your best friend's favorite kind of sandwich? <laughs> I think I know. I think I could say what your favorite sandwich probably is. I think it's usually turkey-based. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not turkey baster, but yeah, turkey. <laughs> turkey based turkey sandwich. sandwich. Usually like honey turkey uh-huh. on a good roll mm-hmm. with um, a good cheese, like sometimes Swiss or mm-hmm. a nice sharp cheddar. <laughs> and then um, lettuce, tomato, onion. And horseradish. Uh-huh. Horse, horseradish. 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 <laughs> yeah. And honey mustard. Oh, and a Don't little honey, honey yeah, mustard. Yeah, yeah, And a little honey mustard. Yeah, oh, it's so good. Yeah, yeah. And you, mm-hmm. like the Italian hero. <laughs> Italian stuff. With extra... Don't you do something different, though? You use yeah. Italian dressing? I don't do the Italian dressing. Oh, what do you put on I it? put extra mayo on it <laughs> instead. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. With a nice sun chip. You... <laughs> You like a nice sun chip. You like a nice sun chip. I know. I, I like a Tostito. No, I like a Doritos. Well, that's true. But I, that's fattening, so that's I don't... That's true. I but you don't usually get those with a sandwich. No. Or I love... You know, my favorite is the the, um, the Cheeto... Uh, not Cheetos. cheez No, cheese doodles that uh, are puffed. I like the crunchy ones. I know. I like the puff. <laughs> I like the puff. I don't think I've ever eaten one in front of you, but I know a every crunch. time we have the puffs, I'm like, I like the crunch. Oh, I love the puff. It's it, not something I would ever buy, but if someone had it, I the would... The puff is so great that... I eat so much of it that my, the roof of my mouth hurts. <laughs> it hurts. It, it literally because the puff. I don't know what happens. It hurts the roof of your mouth. Well, it, do you it like scars you? Because I know when I have a puff. Yeah. Like I like to put it in my mouth and let it. Oh, see, like disintegrate. See, and I don't. I don't wait for it to disintegrate. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> you know what else? Another thing that we F's up the roof of your mouth is. Uh, Captain Crunch. Oh. Captain Crunch and Fruity Pebbles. You used to always, my oh, mouth would be like. I love Fruity Pebbles. Freddy Krueger was in there or something. Oh, Freddy Pebbles. Um, Freddy Pebbles. <laughs> Fruity Pebbles. <laughs> Is your best friend allergic to anything? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. I think he thinks he's allergic to everything. <laughs> I'm a little There's always a kind of ailment. Yeah. Always some sort of, Is this a rash? <laughs> I have maybe, rashes, is this, though. Is this from my necklace? Is this from my is necklace? This from my, is this from... Yeah. Is this from my brush? <laughs> Did I scrub too I hard? I think I have too much dandruff. Do I have dandruff? <laughs> is it from my wig? What's my dandruff from? <laughs> Meanwhile, it's tubs and tubs of, of gel Shit. in your hair. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> You have, like, no allergies whatsoever. No. No, I don't think you do. My mom let me just as a child. I could just do whatever the hell I wanted. And I so was, like, I'm brought immune. up like Bubble Boy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you are. And you act like Bubble Boy. I, I can't go out there. Can't. Don't let me out. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Is this, is this red? Do you sleep with your sheets tucked in or out? So do you sleep with your te- uh, sheets mm-hmm. tucked in or out? You sleep with them kind of out. Yeah. You like it. I just like, excuse me. It's <laughs> <laughs> embarrassing. Yeah. Uh, you like to sleep with all your sheets out, I believe, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. I can't have my feet like, <laughs> no. No. And you like to sleep <laughs> like a fucking burrito. <laughs> like, <this. laughs> so I don't even move. My, like I'm like, my feet are bound like an Asian woman <laughs> geisha. Yeah. No. I'm literally like a like, mummy. You're like a... Fucking money. <laughs> I love that feeling. I can't. <laughs> what is your biggest pet peeve? Oh. So I would say, speaking of sandwiches, oh, okay. not using boar's head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not using boar's head meat. Uh-huh. I mean, is there really any other kind? <laughs> I can't. I didn't know there was any other kind <laughs> until I moved here. Oh, my God. Um, what's your pet? Oh, God. Oh, my God. His, oh, my God. His pet peeve is he can't stand sounds. So, like, the crunch of a chip. I can't. I can't. The pouring of coffee I, in the morning. It. <laughs> it makes me want to jump out. Mouth <laughs> noises. Mouth noises when someone eats. It's really something I struggle with. Because I I, it literally makes me want to kill somebody. I know. Like, I literally get violent I feelings. Know. I have to take deep breaths and calm myself down because I will go from calm, cool, collected to white trash mother that wants to beat her children in like 2.2. And we always know because I'm a little bit of a chopper. And so, and I'm always like, and I'm like, (laughs) you're afraid for your life. I can't. You gotta go crunch in on the sound. But that's from my mom. My mom gave that to me. Your mom has that. Do you ever dance even if there's no music playing? (laughs) <laughs> I, 
I think that you do. Yeah. I mean, you're kind of like, you have this thing that you do, like, what do you like to... I guess, yeah. But I mean, I wouldn't call that dancing. I mean, I would think what you do is dancing. I know. Well, you'll make the music. I make music in my head. Like, you can't say anything without him picking up... Like, you could start do a sentence, and then he'll finish it singing a line line. from a musical and dance. (laughs) So, like, it's sunny out. Sun is shining. Sun is shining. I guess. That is true. I'm like a human jukebox. Like that. I will never forget. Do you remember the time that I said to you? Oh my god! That's, oh, I said my mom used to always say this to me, and I thought this was a saying that my mom oh, this is so funny. used to like made up. I didn't know that this was from something. Yeah. And I'll never forget. We were walking on NYU campus uh-huh. after we were serving together one day at that restaurant. Yeah, yeah. And we were walking around, and I said something like, "Like that." We got. Oh, I said. I said, there's trouble in River City. Yeah. And that's what I thought the saying was. I thought that my mom had made that up or something. She said it my whole life, and it was, there's trouble in River City. And I said, we got trouble, 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 uh, trouble with a capital T that rhymes with P and stands for pool. Stands for pool! And he was like, down the street. And I'm like, what is that from? And I'm like, uh, it's from Music Man. <laughs> so funny. And it was, oh god, that's so funny. And I couldn't believe that he didn't know. <laughs> What do you dip a chicken nugget into? <laughs> so, well, I mean, Steven is a fan of all sauces and a lot of it. Yeah. So, barbecue, honey mustard, different types of barbecue, and he makes his own, like, Thousand Island sauce. Like, he'll make his own. So special sauce. Mayonnaise, relish, with a special <laughs> relish, with it's, it's ketchup. Ketchup. Yeah. Sometimes mm-hmm. a little Dijon. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> and for you, I think you just like usually generic, you know, you like to dip it in barbecue sauce or yeah. honey mustard. Yeah. Yeah. Like normal people. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Can your best friend curl their tongue? And I'm going to say no. What, what, how do you curl it? Like. <laughs> I think they mean like. No. <laughs> I can do this too. What is that? Oh, God. No, no, no. I have a big tongue, though. No, I have a problem with my tongue. Remember I told you? (laughs) (laughs) I have a little... (laughs) Okay. Do you still watch cartoons? No. For you, you watch cartoons all the time. I like cartoons. (laughs) He loves cartoons. I love cartoons. Or animated features and movies. Bob's Burgers. Oh, yeah. And I like the kids' ones, too. I want to know what the kids are watching. (laughs) I want to know what the kids are watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Family Guy. Uh huh. So yeah, no, I guess yeah, yeah. You do. And you hate cartoons. Not that I hate them. I'll watch them, but I, I like, like you don't more like dramatic. Them, piece. But like you don't like them even before they start. You're like, yeah. I'm not gonna like. This. I'm not gonna like this. <laughs> You're not gonna like. Unless this. it's a huge animated feature, then I usually don't want to see it. But I've gotten accustomed to watching a lot of different cartoons. You like Bob's Burgers? I love Bob's Burgers. And Family Guy. Family Guy I really like. Yeah, so, so I like The Simpsons. Yeah, so yeah. I guess. Okay. Yeah. So you do too. So you watch cartoons. <laughs> well, thanks for watching our best friends tag. I'm Travis. And I'm Steven. And uh, we are at the House of Mimosa. And be sure to, if you liked hearing us yeah. here, uh, check out us on the podcast, House of Mimosa, the podcast where you get some of us. You get some of Anita and Gina Marie. You get some music. We've got special guests. So just go to iTunes and search House of Mimosa. H A. Well, I'll put the link. Yeah, I'll you'll put the, put link. the link right down here. I'll put and the link um, it's a free download. So so why not download? Why not and take a listen? We're trying it. We're hustling here, folks. I know, guys. Come We're on. hustling. Can you help us out? And if you've got something fun you'd like us to do in a video, like the best friends tag, yeah. or any ideas or questions for us, uh, you can submit them in the comments below or on any of our social networks. And let us know you want us to answer your question. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please subscribe and thumbs up. Yes. <laughs> I can't. Can anyone go this way with their tongue? But I can't. <laughs>